Hello, with the recent stock market volatility, I thought it was a good time to provide additional guidance on how much risk should you be taking with your investments. Uh, before I dive in, I just want to lay out one very important thing to understand and realize is uh, emotions have a big impact on your overall investment performance. And so uh, the reason why most investors do not perform all that well, uh, especially if they're not working with a financial planner, is because they react emotionally and do the wrong things at the wrong time. So uh, with that, let's dive in and kind of see how I prefer to approach things with my clients as well as uh, I would encourage you, even if you are a do-it-yourself, to kind of reflect on it and make sure you have a plan in place uh, to address how much risk you should be taking. And basically, we're going to review these three things, your time horizon for your goals, the personal risk tolerance that you're willing to take, and uh, the return needed to in order to achieve your goals. So all three of those things have a big impact on uh, basically achieving your goals as well as just outlining uh, an awareness of how you're going to react. Uh, an awareness of what's actually needed and um, awareness just goes a long way as far as if you know how you're going to react before something occurs, you're going to typically react a little bit more favorably, uh, less emotionally and, and from a place of knowledge and, and less uh, so from fear. So uh, that's the biggest thing when volatility hits like we've seen uh, today, which is October 23rd, uh, 2018. Um, the stock market is just a part of your investments. That's something that if you are going to invest in stock market, you just have to understand volatility is always going to exist. So this video is relevant now as well as it will be uh, relevant for the foreseeable future. Um, looking at time horizon, let's let's focus on that. That's speaking specifically to your goals and when you're actually going to need the funds. And a lot of people don't understand that th that plays a, a big role actually in how much risk you should be taking initially. Uh, I'm in a few Facebook groups where uh, I see often posts and comments about what to do with short term, uh, short term large sums of money. And so they're, they'll kind of throw out a question or someone will comment that with those short term funds, instead of getting a very small return from a savings account at a bank where, where it's very secured and uh, you know the money's going to be there, uh, some people would suggest that it's a no brainer to you throw that money into the stock market because the stock market just makes money for people. Uh, it, that does occur, uh, sure, but uh, not quite exactly in line with uh, short-term goals all the time. So if you, just because you're going to invest in the market doesn't mean you're going to make a return um, or a positive return in a short-term time period, like one to three years, uh, even five years, uh, may be a little bit more risk than what you're willing to take with those short-term goals. So I, I think there's a lack of awareness a lot of times with those uh, short-term investments and really the possibility of what could occur in the stock market. Right now, we're just seeing uh, a little bit of volatility. This could continue on and, and who knows what it could end up doing. Um, it could uh, react favorably like it did earlier this year when we saw the, the last bout of volatility. So no one really knows that uh, the biggest thing is planning ahead for uh, how you can make sure that you're well positioned for anything that the stock market can throw at you. So short-term time horizons is not a good place for a significant amount of risk inside your investments. And you kind of move along that scale. How I tend to look at that is, is anything shorter than three years, uh, definitely reduce the risk pretty, pretty heavily. Uh, three to five years, you might be able to absorb a little bit of risk potentially, but still you want to take a, a close look at that ahead of time. And then uh, five to 10 years, that, that's kind of another period where you can start to get a little bit more aggressive. Anything 10 plus years, uh, that's usually where I'll tend to be the most aggressive with some of uh, my clients' investments, and that's how we kind of view those time horizon uh, breakpoints. Another important thing to review is Every year that goes by, you're shortening those time horizons. So uh, revisit those on a regular basis. Uh, personal risk tolerance. So how you're going to react, and usually those reactions are going to be kind of emotional. Um, understanding that ahead of time, again, just goes a long way as far as avoiding and trying to overcome your gut reaction uh, to something that may seem scary to you. I actually have uh, a free risk composure analysis with regards to your investments that you can take, I believe it takes about two minutes and the report comes to you pretty quickly. So uh, I'll throw that in the comments for you to take if that's something that will add value for you. And I think the last thing that a lot of people don't realize as well is uh, understanding what the return is you actually need in order to 
achieve your goals. Some people, uh, there, this could vary across the board depending on what your situation is, but I've seen uh, where some people were just really good savers and uh, didn't spend that much money. They don't need as high of a return as someone that is is living their lifestyle to the maximum and, and trying to rely heavily that their investments are going to make up that ground that they need to in order to achieve their goals. So uh, those are kind of two polar opposites of, of what you could find yourself in and understanding what it is that you actually need to get as far as a return goes a long way and just having a real situation check to, to see, well, am I taking more risk than I actually need to? And if I'm not comfortable with that, well, why do it then? So um, all that information is super valuable in constructing your portfolio and understanding how much risk you want to take with it. So hopefully that's valuable to you. I actually uh, recorded a separate video that is more specific on the, the recent market volatility we've seen and, and what's been causing that. That's about two minutes long. So if you have two minutes, feel free to scroll through my feed and find that video and that will help you understand why we're experiencing the volatility that we're seeing today. Uh, hopefully that's helpful. Reach out or take my risk composure if that's something that adds value and I, I look forward to providing additional value in the future.